The stocks discussed on Phil's Gang are not in any way a recommendation or solicitation to buy, sell, or hold. If considering acting on information presented, we first recommend you seek out a competent, licensed professional for advice. Get ready for the radio show that tells you what Wall Street doesn't want you to know. Oh, I'm a money magnet. Money, money, money's coming to me. Money sets me free. I'm a money magnet. Money, 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 money's coming to me. It's your daily dose of how to manage your money. And now it's time for Phil's Gang on the Off the Wall Street Radio Network. With your host... Bill Grandy. 304,000 jobs were created in the month of January, 296,000 in the private sector. The unemployment rate ticked up to 4%. Uh, December revised down by 90,000 jobs. Average hourly wages ticked up 0.1% for the month. And that was our job numbers today. 304,000 jobs and all excited and the market was going up. And I said, it won't last long. I said the market was going to fall apart. It was going to go negative, and it's negative now. And I'm going to expl- and I'm going to explain why. I'm going to talk about that today. But also, what was interesting before I get into the job numbers, what was interesting to me is while they were talking about the job numbers, Corey Booker. You remember him, Spartacus. This is about the closest I'll probably ever have in my life to an "I am Spartacus" moment. Remember him? So he is one of the guys, one of 10 now, they're going to be running for president. And he, just like our friend Bernie Sanders, calls Trump a racist. We now have a president of the United States who is a racist. So think about this. Whether you hate Trump, love Trump, middle on Trump, doesn't matter. Use your own head. So he caused called, Sanders called Trump a racist. Booker cost him a racist. Now the entire field of 10 all call him a racist. But when you look at the job numbers, guess who's doing the best? African Americans. Latinos. Booker, the last time I saw, he was an African American, so how could he get up and say he's racist, that the president's racist when he's helping out the African Americans. Remember, it used to be the Democrats, that was their deal. Their deal was to work with African Americans, work with the poor. That was the deal. That's what they were dedicated to. They they worked they worked with minorities, they worked with the unions. That was the deal. No more. They don't work with the unions anymore. Ever since we have globalization, they don't work with the unions anymore. They flipped. And when globalization went out, and was rep- it was replaced by the financial industry. Remember, the financial industry is the biggest part of our GDP, 20%. It used to be manufacturing. And we paid a high price of switching from manufacturing to financials. It's the financial sector that has put us into a mess. That's Basically, they lend money to people that they shouldn't be lending to, like the housing crash. How did this come about, the crash, the housing crash? They're lending money to people that shouldn't have a house, shouldn't own a house. They should have been renting. So we have suffered big time for in the 50s and the 60s to get rid of manufacturing, sell our plants to China. And it just happened to be everything in Japan, everything was just lining up perfectly at the time. The sun, the moon, the stars, everything was lining up perfectly. We had a new industry coming. We had a dot-com industry coming. It used to work that way going all the way back. You had Pony Express, and when Pony Express was going out, they had the telegraph. Then we went from telegraph, employing everybody in telegraph. We went to we went to uh, uh, trains. Then trains. We went to a new industry, airlines and shipping. It always has somebody. Th- it always could get a new industry going where you could take these people and move them to a new industry. No more. So it stopped. So we gave all our manufacturing overseas 
globalization, they call it. And the Democrats, what did they do? They went to the new financial sector. And it's the financial sector that has killed this country, the greed. And I have to laugh when I listen to these guys like Booker and all the rest of these liberal Democrats. And they, the reason why this wave of socialism is coming up from these puppies, these kids in the, in, in the uh, Democratic Party, is because, see, that's what they see. That's what they see. They see that. They, they, they look and they, they understand, wait a minute, what's going on here? My party is really working for big industry, for the banks. Look at the money that Obama got from the banks. Look at the money that Clinton got from the banks. So the Democratic Party is no longer for labor. They're for themselves. Look at Waters. Maxine Waters, how she and her husband enriched themselves. When she entered Congress... Just like Cortez, we'll call her toothpaste because I can't repound her. I can't pronounce her name. She had nothing. She now lives in a five million dollar house. AOC. Well, we'll just call her toothpaste. AOC. So think about that. So now Waters is ahead of the financial. Uh, the banking, I should say, on, on the Senate side or the Re House of Representatives, she's even going to get more rich now. She opened up the door to all the CEOs of all the banks that come out and see me. Now, she's been telling us how she's going to get even with them. She's going to, you know, ratchet down on them, put all kinds of regulations on them. The first crook she brought to her office to have a sit down, the biggest crook in the industry, J.B. Diamond, who should be in jail, that's the first crook she went to. She's going to enrich herself. So that's how this socialism is coming about. It just happened this morning when I'm listening to Booker was announcing the same time the job numbers came out. And I just said to myself, this is amazing. Trump is a racist. Yet he has contributed more jobs to minorities than any other president, including Clinton. It's just pathetic, isn't it? And Booker, what a phony. He, matter of fact, Booker, when he was in New Jersey, he was a crook. He almost went to jail, this guy. And his big Spartacus moment, when I was in the Kavanaugh hearing, he said, I, I'm going to, here, I'll play it. This was all a lie. I violated the rules, and I am violating the rules. Number one, last night I broke the rules. It all started last night when I broke the rules. He never broke the rules. He made sure he didn't break the rules. It was all put up. It was all put up. So that's the kind of guy we got sitting here, this Booker. But anyway, that's enough politics. I don't want to talk about po I would love to. I'd love to talk to the whole show about politics. But that's not going to help you because you got a problem. The 401K is nothing but the biggest skimming operation in the world. You're not going to have much left when you retire because of the fees they keep stealing from you, $250 billion a day, and you don't even know that. Matter of fact, 80% of the people with a 401k, you think there's not even any, they, they, in your 401k, there's no fees at all. Nobody charges you fees. You think the company pays for it. Well, I hate to enlighten you, but you're wrong. People with a 401k, you will never be able to survive on your 401k and your Social Security together combined. It'll never happen. It's just, just forget it. It's not going to work. Not unless you eat cat food every Wednesday. It's not going to work. So why don't we talk about this crisis that we have, retirement crisis, but and everything else? But but you, you know what? It doesn't do any good. You got to identify a way to start making some money, some income. And if you're going to sit there and listen to these jibber jabbers on CNBC and Fox and all these stations and Bloomingbergs, you're out of your mind. You got to be nuts. And if you think you're going to go and keep finding, yo, know, I got to find this great uh, broker or this great money man, forget it. You don't need any of those people because you don't need to know anymore the fundamentals of the company. You don't. You don't need to know what the margins are. You don't need to know what the uh, f uh, free cash flow is. You don't need to know any of that anymore. That's the greatest thing about technology. You don't need them. I'll explain when I get back. Join my gang, Phil's gang. I'm reaching out to you. You make money. You reach back to St. Jude. We'll be right back. 15 past the hour. Want more information on this show? Go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. 
Thousands of investors trust PhilzGang.com to deliver the tools and resources they need to invest with confidence. With the PhilzGang MaxVest 1000 stock charts, you have the power to create highest quality, color-coded, easy-to-read charts in just a few simple clicks. Designed specifically for technical analysis and investing, the PhilzGang MaxVest 1000 stock charts seamlessly integrates and functions on mobile, tablet, desktop, and web devices. Isn't it time you leave behind the old stock research routine, spending hours reading websites out of date newsletters and magazines? Instead, subscribe to the PhilzGang MaxVest 1000 stock charts and plan your entire investment strategy. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. 877-600-4264. Sign up at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. 877-600-4264. 877-600-4264. And we'll see you on the charts. Thousands of investors trust philsgang.com to deliver the tools and resources they need to invest with confidence. With the Philsgang MaxVest 1000 stock charts, you have the power to create highest quality, color-coded, easy-to-read charts in just a few simple clicks. Designed specifically for technical analysis and investing, the PhilzGang MaxVest 1000 stock charts seamlessly integrates and functions on mobile, tablet, desktop, and web devices. Isn't it time you leave behind the old stock research routine, spending hours reading websites out of date newsletters and magazines? Instead, subscribe to the PhilzGang MaxVest 1000 stock charts and plan your entire investment strategy. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. 877-600-4264. Sign up at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. 877-600-4264. 877-600-4264. And we'll see you on the charts. Hi, I'm Phil Grant at philsgang.com. You know, we raise money every day for St. Jude, and we need your help. And I will reach out to you and help you learn how to invest in stocks. It's a whole new game out there. No more is there investing in stocks based on fundamentals. Those days are gone, totally gone. So look, join my gang, philsgang.com. I'll help you, and then you help St. Jude learn how to use a chart. Sign up today. Simply go to philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com, or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. 877-600-4264. Philsgang.com has taught thousands of people from all walks of life how to invest and make profits in the stock market. Philsgang.com can help you generate extra income, maximize your retirement financial savings, and teach you how to avoid costly investing mistakes. With the Philsgang membership, you get all the comprehensive stock research and data, analysis tools, Phil's recommendations, and the professional customer support you need to make smarter, more profitable investing decisions. Don't wait. Call today, 877 600 4 877-600-4264 or go to philsgang.com that's philsgang.com 877-600-4264 did you know phil grandy hosts a daily live stock market investing webinar class never miss a beat with the market and your investments learn invest and profit with philsgang.com call 877-600-4264 that's 877-600-GANG St. Jude exceeds any expectation or any dream I could have ever had about a hospital. I was told we wouldn't get a bill. I didn't quite process that. How is this possible? It's possible through all the wonderful people who donate. I don't know if they are aware of what they do, but they're saving children's lives every day. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Finding cures. Saving children. Learn more at stjude.org. Remember, when this market crashed in 2009, it should have never crashed because the chairperson of these two committees, their job was to protect consumers, protect our investments, and they're supposed to ensure that our investments are being monitored. Where were they in 2009 and 2008? They weren't anywhere because they don't do that. They take care of themselves. They protect themselves. They become richer. So you can't depend on these crooks in Congress. The stock market is a great place to be, but you just got to know this is a different market than your grandfather's market. So why don't you for 30 days join my gang, 877-600-GANG, try it for 30 days, $39.95, follow me, I tell you when to buy, when to sell, when to add, and when to run like hell. All I ask you start making money, please remember St. Jude. Don't wait. Join Phil's gang today and make profits. Go to philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264.
Welcome back. This segment is brought to you by the MaxVest 1000 Stock Charts. For more information, go to philsgang.com or give us a call at 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. We could increase the taxes that people are paying um, who are the extremely wealthy in, in our community. So 70%, 80%, we've had it as high as 90%. Unbelievable, isn't it? There's a whole wave now. Everybody wants to go to socialism. Isn't that amazing? How dumb are these people? Now, remember, I just told you the reason this is, is happening is because when we switched the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, and we switched from a strong manufacturing base and where we had unions and pensions, not these stupid 401ks, it's a scam. When we had pensions and unions, the unions would make sure they took care of those workers. And the congressmen, the Democrats, would always make sure they took care of the unions. They were always taking care of the unions to take care of their constituents. Everybody would have a job. That's when manufacturing was huge and strong. And people did well. You didn't need a high school education, but you could get a nice house, a nice car. You could put your uh, son through school, your daughter through college. You could uh, retire nicely because back then pensions were a terrific deal because there was an agreement between the worker and the, and the, uh, the company, the manufacturer. The manufacturer would say, you do your best. You take my product, make it the best product possible, work hard, and I'm going to promise you when you retire, you're going to live even better than you are now. So when you retire, you're going to have something to look forward to. And that's how it went. Then when the 60s and the 70s came and 80s came, and they said, no, let's, let's, let's get Wall Street, let's, let's switch to a financial-based economy. And it's that financial-based economy that's destroyed this country by giving people money that they shouldn't be given to, like the housing boom. It's unbelievable. And then they leveraged everybody. And that's why we're in a mess we are now. We have a huge, we have huge debt, we have a, and we also have a huge federal debt. We have, on top of that, housing debt. It just goes on and on and on. So the problem we're having right now, and we can see it in the job numbers. You know, everybody's talking about the job numbers today. 304,000 jobs. Everybody's, everybody's all excited about the job numbers, right? Here, listen. The American economy, it's what's powering things. If you look at 3M's, Caterpillar's, America is the economy that just keeps powering and powering higher. It's really absolutely phenomenal. We are in the midst of an amazing economic revival in this country. This is what he said when he saw the jobs. Can you imagine that? When, when it's not true. I wish it was. I wish I could tell you it was true. And, 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 and then look, and, and then the market was rallying and then Maria jumps in. She's all excited. Looking at this market, valuations have come all the way down. The Fed just gave us a pivot. Growth is still up. I wouldn't be surprised to see a rip and rally. Yeah, and what did I say? I said the market's going to go negative. I said to my students this morning in class. You watch today we're going to go negative is my guess. Sure, we're going to go negative, of course, because the numbers stunk. They weren't good numbers. The problem is most of the numbers, when you go start looking at the numbers, we have, we have the jobs in the wrong areas. That's the big problem. First of all, let's take the job numbers, 304,000. Okay, so 304,000 jobs. That, that's not, that'd be great if they were good manufacturing jobs. But remember, manufacturing is 15% of our GDP when you're including the auto manufacturing. 15% of our GDP. We only created 13,000 new jobs in, a, in, a, in, in, in an area of our economy that 15% of that of manufacturing contributes to our GDP. But let's take, let's take uh, leisure, hospitality, bartenders, waitress, chambermaids. 74,000 jobs, which is only 6% of our GDP. You notice they don't, when they give you the jobs, they'll give you the manufacturing job number, construction job number. They never give you the percentage 
that it represents of our GDP. They don't want you to know that. But I want you to know that. The problem we've got is we got 74,000 jobs that was only 6% of our GDP. That's not good. Construction, 52,000 jobs. Everybody's underwear on, wall, on, on CBC all got knotted up over that one. They're all so happy on that. And that makes no sense, by the way. 52,000 jobs, how does that make sense? In the middle of winter? Are you kidding me? Plus, we had the, we had the shutdown in government? That doesn't make any... But even, let's, let's leave it. Say it's a true number. That's only 6% of our GDP. So you see, we're getting the jobs are going to the wrong sector. Healthcare, 42,000 jobs, 18% of our GDP. Now, that's not bad. That's 18% of our GDP. There's a lot of health care. Okay, but the problem, the health care jobs don't pay much. But here's what really got me this morning. Larry Cudlow has been saying this, remember, right before the job numbers. The jobs report for January mm -hmm. will be up, up, and it may be up a significant amount. Remember he said it's going to be up, 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 a significant amount, he said. Okay, so wait a minute. Let's see. What were the jobs? The jobs came in at 304,000, but December jobs were 315,000. But guess what? The December jobs, they had a take the summer jobs and, uh, and uh, drop them by 90,000 jobs. Because when they give you the jobs, they pump them up. The BLS pumped them up in December by 90,000 jobs. And then after, when they bring out the new jobs for January, they just quietly say, oh, we got to adjust downward. Uh, we overestimated by 90,000. So we're down to about, what, 225,000 jobs. Next month, they'll do the same thing. And remember, 40%, whatever job number they give you, you've got to subtract 40%. 40% of them are fake. 40% of that job numbers are fake. They're what they call birth, death, metric system jobs. They're fake. When we get back after this break, we're going to take a look at some stocks. We're going to finish up these job numbers so you understand what's going on in this market and why you should be in the gold areas and with me. Want more information on this show? Go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. At St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, we're fighting against childhood cancer every day. At the heart of this battle are our donors. Most of us want to make some type of difference in the lives of others. St. Jude does miraculous work. The fact that no one has to pay it's a place where everyone is treated as an equal. Everybody is welcome here, and it doesn't matter your religion or what part of the world you're from, all that is taken away. It just gives you some hope. It's just a nice feeling to put your energy into something that really does genuinely make a difference in a child's life. There's just no greater gift. If we have the ability to help, then we have a responsibility to help. Finding cures, saving children. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Find out how you can help at stjude.org. I will make sure that all the stocks that we are engaged in that are going up, we will get maximum returns and we will be out of those stocks by watching our color-coded chart. You never again will have to worry about being out of an individual stock or an ETF or an index when the market crashes. You will be out before it does happen. All you got to do is join my gang, 877-600-GANG, 877-600-GANG. I'm reaching out to you. All I'm asking you to do is to reach back to the kids at St. Jude when you're making money. Don't wait. Find out more at phyllisgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264.
With the PhilzGang.com membership, we bring investors right to the floor. Into the pits with Phil's daily live webinar classroom. Get inside market guidance on investing strategies. Find out more at PhilzGang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. At PhilzGang.com, we teach you how to secure your financial stability. With a Phil's Gang membership, you will learn and understand how to invest in the stock market and how to keep those profits. Avoid the financial pain of 2008. Don't be exposed to losing your retirement nest egg. Take control and secure your investments with philsgang.com. Don't hesitate, learn, invest, and make profits with Phil's Gang. For more information, go to philsgang.com or give us a call, 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. At St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, we're fighting against childhood cancer every day. At the heart of this battle are our donors. Most of us want to make some type of difference in the lives of others. St. Jude does miraculous work. The fact that no one has to pay, it's a place where everyone is treated as an equal. Everybody is welcome here, and it doesn't matter your religion or what part of the world you're from, all that is taken away. It just gives you some hope. It's just a nice feeling to put your energy into something that really does genuinely make a difference in a child's life. There's just no greater gift. If we have the ability to help, then we have a responsibility to help. Finding cures, saving children. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Find out how you can help at stjude.org. Why pay thousands of dollars for a weekend seminar when for only $39.95 a month, philsgang.com provides all the daily market investing information you need to make profits in the stock market. With over 40 years of investing experience, only Phil Grandy and the philsgang.com team provide daily live investing webinars, up-to-the-minute market updates, all the investing educational videos you can imagine. Don't hesitate to learn, invest, and make profits. Go to philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. 877-600-4264. Thousands of investors trust philsgang.com to deliver the tools and resources they need to invest with confidence. With the Philsgang Max Best 1000 stock charts, you have the power to create highest quality, color-coded, easy-to-read charts in just a few simple clicks. Designed specifically for technical analysis and investing, the Phil's Gang Max Vest 1000 stock chart seamlessly integrates and functions on mobile, tablet, desktop, and web devices. Isn't it time you leave behind the old stock research routine, spending hours reading websites out of date newsletters and magazines? Instead, subscribe to the Phil's Gang Max Vest 1000 stock charts and plan your entire investment strategy. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. 877-600-4264. Sign up at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. 877-600-4264. 877-600-4264. And we'll see you on the charts. Welcome back. This segment is brought to you by the MaxVest 1000 Stock Charts. For more information, go to philsgang.com or give us a call at 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. And welcome back to Phil's Gang. Remember, if you're jumping in this market to start buying stocks, you're making a big mistake right now. Here's what they're not telling you, these jibber-jabbers. Remember, when we had that Trump rally, and that Trump rally, as you recall, we went up 37% from November 2016 up to January of 2018. Then remember, it pulled back 11%. So it dropped from January after we had the 37% rally, and it dropped down about 11% to February. Then it rallied from February. They tried to run it back up again, and they got to September, and it was up about 11%. It took 127 days. In other words, the market dropped from January 2018 down to February, 26 days, dropped 11%. But to grab that 11% back, they did it through stock buybacks in any way they could cheat, push the market back up 11%, took 127 days, and the banks were not following. They had, we had a divergence in the market. Market going up through stock buybacks, and everything else they could do to cheat, but the banks were going down. And I said, 
to my gang. We got to start shorting the banks because it's not going to sustain. No rally can be sustainable without the banks. Sure enough, the market dropped on October 5th, went, and as I said, it would, and went down 20% down to December 24th. 20%. And, there, and the reason it went down because of the rate hikes. And our economy was getting damaged. Existing home sales were falling off the cliff. Prices were dropping on homes. People were, had to keep cutting their prices to sell their houses. Wholesale prices were falling. Automakers were getting killed. On and on and on. The consumer confidence was getting killed because of that little rate hike. That small rate, 25 basis point, it was rejected. The, so the banks could not rally. Could not rally. And that took us down 20%. So they turned around and they decided, let's do a short covering rally. Let's force the market up. The people won't know any difference. And they got all their, uh, they got all their lap dogs on these Fox and CNBC and the rest of them, all the lap dogs going out there telling what a great economy this is and everything else. So the market went up. It dropped 20%, then it went up 14%. But think about it. It went up 14%, but nobody cut the interest rates. The market went down 20% because the interest rates are too high. Then how the hell does it go back up again 14% with the same interest rates without rate cuts? It's called financial engineering. Would somebody please be honest on one of these programs on, on, on uh, uh, Fox or uh, Bloombergers or CNBC and be honest, say, look, this is nothing but a short covering rally. And even the first year uh, chartist, just learning how to chart, would spot it in a heartbeat. You spot it in volume. As the market is going up, the volume is going down down and the bank stocks aren't participating anytime you see that even even I, what am i talking about one of my students a, a one month student of mine would recognize a short covering rally compared to a pure rally and even the president is getting sucked in would somebody please tell the president it's a short covering rally because now he's tweeting again he's taking ownership again of the rally that went up about 11 percent that's all 11 12 percent now it's stuck there, can't go any higher because everybody's finished short covering. And there's another, and there's other evidence that you have to look at. Go to a chart and find out about the money flow. And when you start seeing in your chart, you see more money is coming out of going into coming out of stocks while the market's going up and going into bonds. That's another red flag. Like four different red flags. But nobody's telling the truth. Then we start hearing this stuff. This is what we start hearing right here. This drives me out of my mind. You know, these are spectacular jobs numbers. The economy is very healthy. The USA is still the hottest economy in the world. We're hitting on all cylinders. The hottest economy, if it's the hottest economy, then how come they couldn't keep raising rates? If the hottest economy, they would say, let's keep going up with the rates. Keep raising rates because raising rates is healthy. Because the more you raise rates, more money goes into savings. The more money goes into savings, more small businesses have a place to go to borrow money. And it's small businesses that create 70% of our jobs, especially the startup businesses. No, you want, you want interest rates to go up so people start saving. But they had to stop because the economy stinks. And then it goes on to say this. This is unbelievable. Well, Larry's the best advisor ever a president could have. What? You've got to be careful on how you forecast and how far you forecast and make it exactly right. Okay, so now Laffer comes out. Uh, he ran off of my show when I interviewed him. He ran, <laughs> and, and so now he said, boy, this is great. Good, glad Larry's the best. I'm glad they, uh, he's working for the president because you've got to be really exact. Really? Listen to this. Listen to this. When he said... Remember he said this? We could grow this economy at 4 or 5%. Then, today, he gets interviewed by Varney, his lapdog, jibber-jabber. Now, watch the Listen to this. You are looking at economic growth, GDP, 3% growth this year. You sticking to that? I'm sticking to that. Uh, no reason to shift. Wait a minute, he shift, and Varney knew he shift, and Varney's covering for him. Varney should have said, wait a minute, you're saying right now, you're going to, you drop him from 5% to 3%, we got a problem, you're shifting. But instead, Varney's 
treats it like, oh, this is a new number, 3%. Larry's just coming up with this new number, GDP 3%. He's been telling us, he's been telling us now for, for, for eight months we we're going to be growing in 2019 uh, 5 to 6%. Now all of a sudden he asks Larry, oh, are you going to stick with your 3%? Oh, yeah, why, why, why would I uh, do anything other than that? Why would I shift? He already shifted. What are you, nuts? That's why you stick with charting. If you're going to buy a stock, stop listening to all this garbage. You stop listening to all this. Stop listening about trailing P.E. ratios and, and price the book, price the sales. Here, give me an example. They're talking about fundamental. They're talking about Amazon today. The stock came down because of the spending also, not just the slowing. This has been a pivot away from the consumer. And do they have pricing power? I mean, uh, does I, 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 wait. Listen to the buzzwords. They're trying to impress you. Pivots and all this other crap. Listen, listen, listen to this. The stock came down because of the spending also, not just the slowing. This has been a pivot away from the consumer. And do they have pricing power? I mean, does Amazon have pricing power? One thing about, about Amazon, they're investing, that's the big concern, but they're investing in warehouses and distribution centers. A lot of the growth in this business is in, is in Amazon Web Services. Is it saturated? So, they're talking about it's pivoting. They're investing in warehouses. These are, this is the reason they're telling you why to buy Amazon. Are you nuts? Put Amazon up on a chart, which we do every day. I'm going to do it right now. If you have a mobile device, go to my site, philsgang.com. And by the way, we do have now, if you want to go to my YouTube site, philsgang.com, my YouTube site, I'm starting now with these little three, four minute, they're about three minute, okay, they're, they're little uh, messages. They're little videos, okay? And, I, and I, I tell you exactly what is happening. For example, I just did one that you can go check out. It says why these rate hikes that they haven't cut yet is going to turn this market and drop it again because they got to start cutting rates, and they're going to start cutting rates. You wait and see. So Amazon, you put up Amazon on a chart. This is amazing. So they're, t they're telling you all the reasons why you should buy Amazon, but they don't tell you the real reason. You only buy a stock if the, if, the mar if the money is going in the stock. Am I right? That's when you buy a stock. So if I put up Amazon, I put up now, putting it in. If you can be on my site, mobile device, you got mobile device, come on my site. And so Amazon, take a look how bad Amazon is. They're telling you to buy this stock. What are you, nuts? If you bring the stock back, it was at a high at around 2000 bucks a share. Now, it, 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 it's down at 1600 a share, and it can't move. It can't go anywhere because there's no buyers. The volume is gone. There's no buyers. You only buy, and I'll tell you why, when you should buy when I get back. Don't listen to these jibber-jabbers. You'll be broke. Want more information on this show? Go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. Hi, I'm Phil Grant at philsgang.com. You know, we raise money every day for St. Jude, and we need your help. And I will reach out to you and help you learn how to invest in stocks. It's a whole new game out there. No more is there investing in stocks based on fundamentals. Those days are gone, totally gone. So look, join my gang, philsgang.com. I'll help you, and then you help St. Jude learn how to use a chart. Sign up today. Simply go to philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com, or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. 877-600-4264. St. Jude exceeds any expectation or any dream I could have ever had about a hospital. I was told we wouldn't get a bill. I, I didn't quite process that. How is this possible? It's possible through all the wonderful people who donate. I don't know if they are aware of what they do, but they're saving children's lives every day. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Finding cures. Saving children. Learn more at stjude.org. Remember, when this market crashed in 2009, it should have never crashed because the chairperson of these two committees, their job was to protect 
consumers, protect our investments, and they're supposed to ensure that our investments are being monitored. Where were they in 2009 and 2008? They weren't anywhere because they don't do that. They take care of themselves. They protect themselves. They become richer. So you can't depend on these crooks in Congress. The stock market is a great place to be, but you just got to know this is a different market than your grandfather's market. So why don't you for 30 days, join my gang, 877-600-GANG, try it for 30 days, $39.95, follow me, I tell you when to buy, when to sell, when to add, and when to run like hell. All I ask you is start making money, please remember St. Jude. Don't wait. Join Phil's gang today and make profits. Go to philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. St. Jude exceeds any expectation or any dream I could have ever had about a hospital. I was told we wouldn't get a bill. I, I didn't quite process that. How is this possible? It's possible through all the wonderful people who donate. I don't know if they are aware of what they do, but they're saving children's lives every day. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Finding cures. Saving children. Learn more at stjude.org. Philsgang.com has taught thousands of people from all walks of life how to invest and make profits in the stock market. Philsgang.com can help you generate extra income, maximize your retirement financial savings, and teach you how to avoid costly investing mistakes. With the Phil's Gang membership, you get all the comprehensive stock research and data, analysis tools, Phil's recommendations, and the professional customer support you need to make smarter, more profitable investing decisions. Don't wait. Call today, 877-600-4264, 877-600-4264, 877-600-4264, or go to philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com, 877-600-4264. Did you know Phil Grandy hosts a daily live stock market investing webinar class? Never miss a beat with the market and your investments. Learn, invest, and profit with philsgang.com. Call 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-GANG. Why pay thousands of dollars for a weekend seminar when for only $39.95 a month, philsgang.com provides all the daily market investing information you need to make profits in the stock market. With over 40 years of investing experience, only Phil Grandy and the philsgang.com team Provide daily, live, investing webinars, up-to-the-minute market updates, all the investing educational videos you can imagine. Don't hesitate to learn, invest, and make profits. Go to philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG, 877-600-4264. Welcome back to the Phil's Gang Radio Show. Want to know more about Phil's Gang? Go to philsgang.com or give us a call at 877-600-GANG. Now, here's Phil. And welcome back to Phil's Gang. Uh, just quickly, um, 877-600-GANG, 877-600-GANG. Join my gangs, $39.95. Try it for one month. Why don't you try the program where it's very easy. I have... The same five, I have a portfolio of five stocks. We've been in it for two years. We also have uh, four bonus stocks. At 2 o'clock Eastern Time, you go to my site, and I give you an instruction on what, sh what to do with each one of those stocks. And it's up to you if you want to do them all or just do one or two. That's, that's up to you. If you follow the instructions every day that I give you, don't go off the reservation. You stay with those instructions. You're going to do just fine. You're going to do really fine, okay? So just try it for a month and, and, and prove it. That's all. Prove it to yourself. Just try it for a month. But you've got to follow those instructions. Don't go off the reservation. So many people, they, they start and then they go crazy. They, they just do things I told them not to do. So if you stick to it, you're going to do well. Now, we're just talking about Amazon. And all the reasons they told you why to buy Amazon. Bunch of crazy reasons. It's pivoting. They're going to warehousing. Uh, they, have, they, they, they like the flow of the money. None of that means anything. Look, when Amazon was at, was turning, it was red, then it turned green. It turned green uh, around uh, uh, April 20th, 2018. And then she shot up about 128%. And then it turned red. Gave it all back. 
All you had to do, you don't need to know any of the, you don't have to know about pivots, you don't have to know about circles, you don't have to know about divots, you don't know about uh, uh, trailing P.E. ratios, forward P.E. ratios, margin, sales price to book, uh, operating margin, you have to know return on assets, you don't need any of that. You don't, have, you don't have to know that they're investing in warehouses. You don't have to know about how they're pivoting and dancing. You don't have to know any of that. All you have to know is go to my site at 2 o'clock and we'll tell you, okay, it's green. Stay in. Keep adding to your position. Keep adding. There you go. And then finally we say, okay, let's get out. Run like hell. Get out. Switch your position. Now I want you to short it. Because why? Because of fundamentals? Because of warehousing? Because of pivoting? What are you, nuts? Of course not. Because the big institutions are pulling the money out. It's that simple. They've got you brainwashed like you you got to hire somebody to, to tell you everything. And you can say, oh, God, i got to get a broker. I don't know anything about price the book. I don't know anything about P.E. ratio. I don't, but i got to get some expert. No, you don't. Amazon, all you had to do is just... We wish it would have turned red. <laughs> it means the big boy, the six largest banks, the five biggest insurance companies, the seven biggest hedge funds are pulling their money out. And that's what they're doing now. With this rally that's going up, they're telling you, oh, this is great, this is fantastic. Look at the jobs today. Market's going back up. President's tweeting. He doesn't understand. Go look at it. It's a short covering rate. The people who sold it short are buying their profit back. That's all. They're buying. If I shorted a stock at 100 and went down to 50, I made $5,000. How do I get my 5000 I got to buy it at 50. I got to buy it back. The next guy buys his back. That's what moves it up. If there's 10 of you who sold it at 100 and dropped down to 50, the first one gets in. He's got the most profit. Then the second guy, he, he says, I better get in before I lose some profit. He gets in. The next guy gets in. The stock goes up. Then all of a sudden it stops. And it stopped dead. But I knew it was going to stop dead. Because why? Because you look and you see the volume. As the market was going up, volume was going down. Market's going up. The banks were going down. Market's going up. People are pulling their money out of uh, This week here, they're pulling their money out of the market. They pulled out $15 billion and they took $9 billion and put it into bonds. You think they're going to tell you that? You think the jibber-jabbers are going to tell you that? Of course not. That's not their job to tell you that. Because they don't have a fiduciary relationship with you. They don't. Our responsibility begins and ends with our partners and our shareholders, and that's it. Who are their partners? The one percentile. That's who their partners are, not you. You have a little account in a 401k. Someone's, you think somebody cares about you? What are you, nuts? See, before, when you had a pension, they did. Before, when you were in a union working for a factory, you'd get a beautiful pension because they had to work for that pension. They, have to, they hired the best people to run that pension because it was in the best interest of the company to make sure you retired nicely. Those days are gone. So, using my color-coded chart, which you can laugh at, here's, some of the, here's where we stand right now, my members... With some of the profits they have. Just now, we just started with UPI. We're up 5% with UPI. GE, we're up 17%. Apple, we just started with Apple. We're up 3% with Apple. We're up with, uh, I'm running out of time, but we're up with most all of our stocks. They're all up. They're all doing nicely. So the bottom line is this. The market, for it to keep rallying, it has stopped now. The market has stopped rallying. They gave their profits back today. Okay, because they can't go higher. Why? Because the same interest rates that destroyed the market to make it drop 20%, those interest rates are still the same. They're hoping before they start dropping the interest rates and doing another QE, they're hoping that the companies will start doing stock buybacks. Now, here's the problem with the stock buybacks now. When they do the stock buybacks because... They owe, the corporations never owed $9 trillion in debt. They're dying with debt, $9 trillion. So they used to borrow money at 0%, at a quarter percent, three quarters percent. Now they got to borrow money at 2.5, 250 points. They got to borrow that money. It used to cost them only $15 a share. Now it's costing them $50 a share. So here's what they're going to do. So they're going to now take it out of their cash flow. Now the country is really screwed. Our GDP growth is really screwed. Why? Because if they're going to do it with cash, that means they're going to, the, the CEOs are going to take cash and they're not going to put the money into 
capital investment means new machinery, new equipment to produce more goods faster at a less cost so they can give you a raise. So now, instead of borrowing money, where they used to do some stock buybacks and some capital investment, there's going to be no capital investment. So who's going to get screwed now? That's right, the worker. It's always the worker. It's always Main Street. And the Democrats don't care about the worker. The Republicans don't care about the worker. Nobody cares about the worker. Nobody. Now, I can't fix any of that. I'm not in Washington. If, who would elect me? I'm not in Washington. But I can tell you this. I can help you, and I can help St. Jude. We can help each other. If, if all you would do is just try for 30 days, thirty nine ninety five, invest in yourself, thirty nine ninety five. just try it. And with the five stocks, our portfolio that we've been in for two years, you just, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon when we post it, it's archived. So if you can't go at 2 o'clock, fine. Go some other time. Do exactly what we tell you to do with Intel every day. What we tell you to do uh, with uh, Goldman Sachs. What we tell you to do with AT&T. And the other stocks that we have. Just do exactly what we tell you. And you'll be fine. So now it doesn't matter to us. Because we don't care about fundamentals. We don't care about Amazon. I mean, how stupid. They're buying Amazon because it's going to pivot. We don't care what those fundamentals are. As long as we can determine by a color code algorithms that I, this, I figured out, or I didn't figure out, I had to do it with an with a, with a, um, engineer, a, write, a code writer, to find, I said, look, all I want you to do is, can you write code for me that I can identify when the institutions are buying and when the institutions are taking their money out? That's all I want. It took me years to do it, but we finally got it. I was going to use it for myself. Then I turned around and said, well, let's start selling it. And that's what we did. But you don't need to know the war story. All you need to know is when you go to bed at night, nobody's looking out for you. Your broker, your planner, nobody cares. If you think these people... On, on Fox and CNBC, and they, they care for you? Do you think all the people in the Congress, they really care about you? No. And what are you facing? You're facing a crisis. It's not the wall. It's not the wall you're facing. You're, fi you're fighting a crisis, and you're facing a crisis of, of, of retirement. And I know you're, I'm talking to you right now, you're 35 years old, you think I'm nuts. You think you're going to live forever. You think before you're 65 or 70, it's going to be millions of years off. <laughs> before you know it, Boom, you're there. You're there. And that's why most, we got about 75% of the people in this country can't retire. They can't retire because they never put money away. When they're kids, what are they doing? They buy spinners for their, for their, for their Jeep. They buy a, and they buy a pit bull and they buy a chain and hook them up on the Jeep. So when they go drinking, they got the pit bull outside on the Jeep with, with, uh, to impress the date. What are you, nuts? You've got to start saving, got to start thinking. Right now, call 877-600-GANG and remember St. Jude. We'll see you on the charts. Join the gang. You have been listening to Phil's Gang with your host, Phil Grandy, on the Off the Wall Street Radio Network. Off the Wall Street Radio Network. Remember to visit Phil's website at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. Or call the office, 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. It's up to me to make my